Hello everybody, this is Ghost Hunter 385 and I am back after my first video and I've got my second video for you. So let's continue where things left off. And loading, 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 loading. Let's get past this. Too bad we just can't skip the loading scene. Oh well. And what's going on here? <laughs> Oh, uh, of course. We hit continue and it's... We need to go back to the scene, to the cutscene we just watched. Alright, I'll let this play for a little bit longer and then I'm just going to skip it, so just give it a second. There we go, there we go. Back on track. <laughs> Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well... I busted out of my cryo-freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water and made off with the warden's daughter. Yes, yes, please, Tychus. Tell us how you boy. did all that single-handedly. Uh, no weapons. Freedom fighter uh, you gotta love it. Happened, Jimmy. Catching up with the old friends, and, and they start bragging about things. You. And you know it's just BS. It's a, it's, it's just you. funny. Minx is going funny down. scene for this One to be, if you ask me. But it's pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. Propaganda time, Live folks. Oh, it's not propaganda. Hall. He's recording the news. It's propaganda if the full story is well never told, or you leave out a couple of Thanks, details. I mean, it's similar to what happened with the Covington kids, Kyle Rittenhouse. I mean, there are so many stories nowadays that frame the narrative of so many things, and that that's what this is. It's just propaganda. See, see, he cut her off saying that the people of Marsar were sick of the Dominion and they're glad to be free, and they're thanking Jim Rayner for it. I'm just getting started. Oh, yes, he is just getting started, folks. You know, for Jim's mental health, it probably would have been better if Sarah had died. Sarah Kerrigan, my bad, had died that day. It's really, really sad just how close he was with her when that happened. And he still feels guilt for it and blames himself. As I said, lib liberation of people is a terrible and beautiful thing all at once. It's beautiful because you watch people stand up and fight for themselves, but it's also terrible at the same time because of the amount of loss of life and destruction. It's a terrible and beautiful thing all at the same time. Sad, really. Really very sad. Thanks to your actions, Marsara is now in a state of open revolt against Arcturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. Dominion engineers been digging out here. Yeah, and it's kind of a wonder what See they're digging plane? up. They're getting ready to move the but in the end, Tychus's information is correct because of why? Because he See, has somebody on the inside. Yeah, we all know who if you've played this game. I'm not going to give any spoilers for that. But the point of my video today is to talk about one of the YouTubers that I watch that is called Think Before You Sleep. And he recently did a video about where he gave a response to a bunch of Twitch streamers who basically lambasted his opinion about women in professional gaming. Um, what are some of those professional games? Well, not, call, not Call of Duty. What were they called? What was it? League of Legends? Dota? 
And there was even a Fortnite player he brought up in another video. But the general gist in each video is that in a lot of cases, you know, they're arguing for affirmative action in their videos so that way these women can do better, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Better positions, more money, you know, take your pick. Hey. But in any case, the thing that I think is sad is that I would actually, it, sorry I'm getting off a of track here, it's sad that they're actually standing up, that these Twitch streamers are standing up for this, because affirmative action has only ever helped one group of people. Well, if I had to be semi-accurate here, it's only helped those who can actually use it. If you can't actually use the uh, inclined biases, well, not the inclined biases here, wrong for it, wrong word. If you can actually use the help of these commissions, however you want to phrase these things, the phrase it, the governmental bodies, you know, they can do some good work and not. Hey, never have enough SCVs. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. I just, uh, so frustrating when it's like, come on, I need to build. Not enough minerals. Not enough Vespan gas. Jeez, it's annoying. But in any case, first levels of the game don't really have everything there to build up to. So, you know. But back onto the subject I was talking about. Um. He brought up a bunch of good points that uh, th that some of these women who play esports they were good for their rank, but in general, at professional wise, they needed a lot more work, and they also had to devote more work. Now, people will sit here and say, why am I being sexist? And the truth is, I'm not being sexist. I don't play these games. Why? Simple. I've heard way too many people complain that the communities that play those games are incredibly nasty, rude, and overall, toxic. Now, does that mean everybody? No. No, it does not mean everybody. But still, why would I want to play a game where if I have a hooked in mic and I'm just playing, talking, and people are ragging on me because I'm a noob. Well, I'm sorry I haven't spent the past five years playing these games. I have a life. Now people might say, now you're hating on people who play games. I play video games for fun. I don't play professionally. Because I don't, because to me, I've never had the skills to play professional. Not enough minerals. It would be nice. And of course, I need more minerals. But back on track here. If you're that good at professional at playing professionally games, good on you. But I'm not. And nor do I nor did I ever tr consider that a way to live my life where I make games by going from tournaments to tournaments and playing. You know, that would be kind of cool for me as a way to make a living, but is that how I'm going to do it when I don't have the skill to do that? No! It's a pipe dream to me. And there are these people who try and do it? Well, good on you. Good for trying. Solid effort. But back on to the proper subject here. Uh, in the latest video, he broke down what each of these Twitch streamers were saying about him, and he pointed out that a lot of the flaws in what they were saying just boiled down to pure political ideology. They didn't throw down any solid fact or even factoids that might help argue their case. They didn't do any of that in their response videos from what I've seen. I should probably go no check the responses, but I'm considering doing the it. 
only on the basis that if someone comes at me and says, hey, you are a jerk, blah, 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 guess what? I could sit here and say, really? You were defending these people who basically told the people who watched them to go attack this guy? Sure no, that is not okay. Nor has it ever been okay I'm going. in any shape or format to go after people who disagree with you on whichever stance it be, on the political stance. And it's always been considered bad manners or terrible manners even that you sit here and use your political beliefs to judge somebody else. I mean, one of the nastiest parts of his rebuttal video to these Twitch streamers was the fact that they sat there and said, well, they, well, a little bit of context here. My bad, I'm jumping a bit too far ahead. Sorry, sorry. But in the video, Think Before You Sleep brings up a rather f popular, famous Twitch streamer named It's Timmy. And he plays, I believe he says League, and he's one of the most popular, one of the best players out there. And, you know, and think before you sleep, this thing they're saying that, you know, this, I can, I respect this guy, he does all this hard work. And, you know, these people are basically sitting there saying how it's Timmy would hate this guy solely based on his political beliefs. And the fact that he can't even say that it's Timmy is a good example of somebody who plays a game, who plays league or dota whichever game it is and that you know timmy would hate this that it's timmy would hate this guy and he would destroy him in the game that's and you know it's also called you know from what think before you sleep has said about nice his self is that in game you know he might have reached a certain rank but he's not trying to be professional he plays for fun well I don't know that. That's an assumption on my part, but it's an, a fair assumption. People who play games for fun aren't concerned with status of where they are in game. They're more concerned with just getting good at getting good enough to enjoy the game, and that's respectable in my opinion. Because guess what? If you like to do something eventually and you put in the effort, guess what? You get better. But the worst part of the video was that was that was them saying that think before you sleep cannot compliment it's Timmy for doing something for having the skills to play such a competitive game well. It's downright disgusting in my opinion that you can't even give somebody a compliment nowadays. And it doesn't matter whether you're a liberal or a conservative, independent or somewhere in between. But that's what these people are thinking and saying that oh you're just uh oh you're just this hack wink whatever you want to say and it's called really he's giving this guy a compliment and you guys are ripping on him for it even though in a lot of his videos think before you sleep has actually made it very clear what some of his stances are and that you know, in a general motion, he is for the betterment of, of Western society and even improving aspects of Eastern societies. And he's saying these things to help improve things, to hold people accountable for things. And I just think it's really disgusting that they sit here and said that he can't compliment somebody for doing, for being good at something. It's terrible, terrible manners. At best, at worst, it's just downright nasty. It's disgusting, in my opinion, that we can't even hand out compliments anymore without them being backhanded. You know, just, oh, you're really good at this game, bro. And then just on that next second, it's like, oh, this guy's terrible. You know, he was good in the beginning, but as soon as we hit that mid-gameplay, he just suck and stank. You know, it's basically being two-faced. It's terrible, in my opinion. But in any case, you know, that's just my thoughts on this subject. 
But in any case, I'm going to put a link down to the video I'm talking about down below. If you like what you see, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.